Welcome back. Money could be running out soon for 911 emergency call centers across the state. Capital correspondent Tim Skupik has the latest on efforts to prevent the shutdown that might increase your phone bill. What if you called 911 and nobody answered? The fund is going to uh, run out, they say, somewhere at the end of the year, uh, February. Senator Mike Knopf argues more money is also needed to bring the call centers up to speed on the technological front. Installing more fiber optic lines will get that job done. For example, today if you text a call for help to your county call center, the center will not receive the text. And if you get videos and send those, those aren't received either. A lot of people text now. They would text the police department instead of calling. Sometimes you're hiding in the closet because someone's breaking into your house. You want to be able to text and say, hey, my house is getting broken into without making any noise. You can't do that today. Under the NOS legislation, your hard line in your house, that phone bill would increase six cents a month, the same amount for your cell phone. And if you purchase a temporary track phone, the same six cents would be applied. The senator also argues if you need a first responder at your home and your local call center is down, no one will show up. He says this upgrade will address that problem too. If a dispatch center went down, it would automatically be able to transfer all those calls so they'd be answered to the next county. Mm. And so you would not have an interruption in your 911 service, even though your system in your county may be down. Look for the fee hike for the call centers to get a Senate vote before the 911 centers run out of money. Your view in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.